What is going on, painting company owners? Happy Tuesday. Brandon from Painter Marketing Pros here. So what makes one painting company grow consistently year over year? These are the companies that are doing several million, three million, five million, maybe more than 10 million in a single location in a year, while all the other ones are, or so many of the other ones are at 100,000, 200,000, 500,000, and don't seem to, to really be able to do it. You know, and, and kind of growing on referrals, but but I have a good year and then kind of go down a year and, and then a great year, but then down again. It's planning, you know, it's planning and it's executing. So right now, December 2021, you should be planning your year. Think and plan in terms of a full year, then back it into quarterly goals and ultimately back that into monthly goals, right? Because if you don't know where you're going and how you're going to get there, then you're not really going anywhere and you're certain to be disappointed. So we talk and actually work with a lot of different kinds of painting companies. So at Painter Marketing Pros, we have, have clients that are doing well past a million a year and then we have clients that are not there yet. And one of the things that I've noticed in this industry is the clients that are farther along consistently can, can understand their numbers better. Right. You ask them questions and, and we're having, you know, initial strategy discussions and questions like, you know, how many how many uh, interior repaints do you do per month? They know that. Right. What, what is your average ticket value? What's your average sales value per project? They know that. What are your margins? How much money are you making per job? They know that. What's your overhead? They know that. What's your goal uh, on a monthly basis? Twelve months from now, they know that. Right. So understanding that how many crews will you need? How many additional painters do you need to add? They know that. So if, if you find that you don't know that, um, this is a good time to, to take the time and sit down and figure it out. And I'm talking about this today because I'm actually doing this today. So I'm actually doing this today, uh, kind of mapping out for Paint and Marketing Pros what 2022 looks like. You know, what is our plan for the year? Where do we want to be at the end of the year? What does that mean that we need to accomplish in Q1? How about Q2? How about Q3? How about Q4? How about month one? January. How do I know whether I'm on track with painter marketing pros at the end of January? Right? If I want to get to a certain point and I just say, well, I want to I want to be there by next December, but I don't have a any sort of framework for getting there or, or any sort of process or benchmark to know whether or not I'm I'm heading in the right direction or at the right cadence, then of course I'm very unlikely to get there, right? Otherwise, you're just kind of hoping that you get lucky and and hope is not a strategy. So Know your numbers. You know, we, we have some smaller painting companies that will come through and you ask them these questions that they just don't know the answer, you know, and, and you say, okay, well, you, you want to, what's your goal at the end of 2022? What, what do you mean? What's my goal? What's your goal? You know, it's, it's, we're speaking English, right? What's your goal? Where, where are you trying to be? What, what, what revenue are you trying to make? What profit do you make? What do you want? Why are you doing this business? Why, why are you running a painting company? And then, you know, okay, you're running a painting company because you want to provide for your children. Uh, you're running a painting company because you've done it for a long time and, and, and you want financial security. Okay, well, what does that look like? What does financial security look like for you? What does providing for your children look like for you? How much money do you need? You know, and if, if you don't know how much profit you're making for a job, if you don't know how much the average job nets you, if you don't know how many jobs you're doing per month, of course, there's no way for you to, to ever really get there because you're not planning it. So, Take take some time, step away. I'm actually going to take a week off, which for me is pretty unusual, uh, near the end of December, and really reflect, meditate on it, plan it. Um, so I guess I won't be fully off, but spend some time really looking, you know, kind of down on the business, right? Work on the business, not just in the business. But know your numbers, plan plan for the following year. Um, it, it, December is to me the most important time of the year for a business because you you can kind of start with a fresh slate and, and really plan it out, but. Reach out if you have any questions uh, about any of that. Hopefully it makes sense. Uh, have a good day.